Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're gonna check it out how to make this blend animation in After Effects. Step one, click on new composition. I'm gonna rename it as text. Make sure the width is 1080 by 1080. Click OK. From here, I'm gonna drag and drop the logo into the project. I'm gonna select merge layer, click OK. In your case, if you wanna select some text, you can click on the type tool and type in whatever you want. In my case, I'm gonna drag the AI file into the text comp, right click, go to create and create shape layer from vector. Now this is only for me. I'm gonna select the original file, click on delete. Make sure to check here the transparent background so the text is visible this way. I'm gonna make the text white, click on the fill, select the white. You can also select here the stroke. In my case, I'm gonna go here, stroke. And now I can also change the stroke. I'm gonna make the stroke black and I'm gonna increase it. Go to the project, right click, click on new composition, type in animation, and I'm gonna make the width 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Now drag and drop the text inside the animation. I'm gonna deactivate the transparent background. I'm gonna press the letter S for scale. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit, and I'm gonna position it somewhere here. Click the letter P for position. I'm gonna activate the stopwatch, bring it to the first seconds, push the word mark somewhere here go to the second second let's select the first keyframe which is this one press ctrl c and then press ctrl v so it's going to copy paste at the end so we got this animation going on select all the keyframes or right click on one of those keyframes go to keyframe assist and select easy ease great now let's click here on the graph editor for me it's showing like this in order to activate it you're going to need to click on this eye and make sure everything is active now press and hold alt scroll Roll it out so it is gonna make it more wider so you can see what is going on select the first anchor point on the left and pull the handle to the right let's select the other anchor point from the right and let's pull the handle to the left there you go I'm gonna deactivate scroll it back it should look something like this now select the text press ctrl d and we're gonna create three more copies so in total we got four copies let's go to the effects and presets I'm gonna type in tint and I'm gonna drag the tint on the second layer, on the third layer, and on the fourth layer. I'm gonna uncheck the first text layer, which is white. I'm gonna click on the second one, and let's select the color here, the map white two. Pick your colors, whatever you like, click OK. I'm gonna uncheck it, and let's go to the third one, and do the same thing, recolor it, click OK, uncheck it, and go to the last one, recolor it, click OK. Now let's activate all of them, select all, press the letter U so it's going to highlight all the keyframes. Now let's select the last three keyframes. I'm going to bring this to the beginning and I'm going to press shift and left arrow. I'm going to press it again. There you go. And I'm going to do the same thing with the third and fourth layer. Press and hold shift, arrow, arrow. And last layer, press and hold shift arrow arrow I'm gonna press and hold alt scroll to zoom in and now we're gonna delay the keyframes so first I'm gonna select uh, these three keyframes from the second layer and I'm gonna push them out to the third frame here and I'm gonna push these out I'm gonna go to the sixth frame I'm gonna go to the third layer select the keyframes and push them out I'm gonna go to the ninth frame and then the last layer and push them out click play and voila and this was it thanks for watching